All right. Hello, everybody. Welcome to yet another First Impressions live stream, my third video game today that I'm reviewing. This one, I want to go ahead and thank the developer Vladislav Borovic uh, for offering me a free evaluation key to this game called Ember Zone. If you look at the developer, we see that it is their first title on Steam. It's a $2 title with a 10% discount its first week. It just came out earlier today. So, Ember Zone is a short first-person story game. The story is about loss. You play as a simple girl in whose life happens something horrible. All right, so we're going to play a first-person adventure simulation walking simulator to find out what this game is all about. And um, it does say the story is about Sarah, a 24-year-old girl. Her life wasn't much different from the lives of millions of other Americans. Sarah was interned as a journalist, but there's nothing special about it because many girls at her age chose to work in this field. In general, her whole life was quite calm and measured, but one day changed everything. All right, so a linear story uh, with a speaker in the background, 15 to 20 minute game that can be completed at a time. And walking around locations, talking with NPCs, find out what happened to the main character. All right, so... One thing I, I wonder here, talking about this game, is like, why are there so many games on Steam, like indie games specifically, cheap indie games, that have to do with Sarah? Like, every time Sarah, not just spelled S-A-R-A, -A, Sarah with an H, there's so many freaking indie games dealing with Sarah. I know we had one, um, Dreaming Sarah. I haven't played that one, I don't think. But we played some real garbage games. I know my game is Sarah was like a survival game and it was total trash. Um, I know there was one something, yeah, this one right here about being too fat or too heavy. It was complete garbage. Sarah, you're way too heavy. Um, there's been a couple of more games that, as well that we played. Uh, Sarah in the Sky, I don't know what that is. But if we look here, this is two years ago this game came out. And did it have a negative review too? No, it actually has a couple of good reviews. So, I don't know. It seems like it does, the game doesn't look that good, but maybe it's all right. I don't know. But it sure seems like a lot of these indie games about Sarah that I'm getting have been garbage. So, let's hope this uh, isn't the same uh, result for Ember Zone. But looking at the gameplay, I'm not real hopeful. So, let's go ahead and get into this game. Ember Zone about a 24 year old journalist, Sarah. We're going to go ahead and launch this. The game did require, when I installed the game, it did come up and say that it was required 7 gigabytes of free space or something like that. It downloaded pretty quick, but. Alright. So here we go, guys. Um, we have settings. Let's take a look at that. This is the default. Unreal game uh, settings. Nothing here is changed. We have several different languages here to put it in. Um, okay. Then save back to main. So then we have quit and we have play. Is there an audio setting at all? Doesn't look like there's any audio settings whatsoever. Okay, interesting. Alright, let me turn my volume up on my headset because I can not hear anything. Okay, I want to turn this volume up on OBS as well so you guys hear this crap. Let me also go into my game capture here just so it doesn't lag. There we go. So, play story one. As if there's any other choices or back. Oh my god, that scream. Well, at least the volume isn't overwhelmingly loud, I gotta say that. This story is about Sarah, a 24 year old girl. Okay. Of other Americans. Sarah was interned as a journalist, but there's nothing special about it because many girls at her age choose to work in this field. In general, her whole life was quite calm and measured, but one day changed everything. Okay. 
So here we are. I guess we're Sarah. Um, you want to give me control at some point? Thank you. Order here. Doesn't look like I can interact with that. E. Best burger. Okay, the movement is really... Wow, we can look down at our breasts. That's really nice. Looks like one breast is smaller than the other. Just saying. Looks like her right breast is half the size of her other breast. That's a little bit weird. Okay. Hey, nobody's perfect, man. Nobody's fucking perfect. Alright, so these burgers look pretty good and making me hungry. Can I order one? Um, eat interact. Welcome to Yumco. Are you ready to order? Sure. How do I interact? How do I order? I can't order anymore. Can I talk to you? Nope. Can't talk to you either. Hey, ladies. Can I get... Can I have your burger? So, when will Jim be here? We've been sitting here for half an hour. I All don't right. know, Abby. We're gonna wait ten minutes and go. It's his fault. Alright. So, one problem I already see with this game. First of all, look at the jiggle, guys. I'm not moving my mouse at all. I mean, I guess I'm breathing. I don't know. But my camera's jiggling around and moving around, and I'm not even touching anything. My hands are clasped together right now. Not on the mouse, not on the keyboard. But the voices here in this game sound like... They almost sound like the robotic Alexa from Amazon. These are not actual voice actors put any kind of inflection or emotion or you know any kind of variation in the text this is all like robotic robotic acting e sam look how sick josh is it's your fault you brought us here so it's i mean not my fault he's not feeling well i eat at this cafe every day and i've never had anything like it See, that is not real people acting. This is horrible. Okay, listen to this guy. Listen to this guy right here. Oh, I won't let me act. It won't let me talk to him again. But this lady here sounded exactly like this lady here. It's just female voice. It's like, it's like Alexa talking. It's like text-to-speech or whatever. Um, this is absolutely terrible. Combine that with the jitter and the awkward movement in this game... I can't talk to anybody else. I can talk to her, I guess. But look how look how you have to have it right on the right pixel. You were right, Ethan. It's cheap and tasty enough. See, that is not voice acting. That's a freaking Now robot. you know that a good meal isn't always expensive. Can I go out? I can go out. But look at this. this Hello? Um... E? I'm hitting E. Not doing anything. There yeah, we go. I forgot to tell you, Sarah has a devoted friend, Sammy. Sammy oh lives with Sarah for nine years and never left her. Even now he's waiting for her at the coffee shop where she drinks coffee every day. Alright, again, just the uh, the main announcer here talking about my dog. Where'd my dog go, by the way? The main story guy here is just a freaking text-to-speech robot. Like... You would think if they're going to make a 10 to 15 minute game or whatever this is supposed to be, they could at least hire, you know, or have a few people act and do some voice acting. There's my dumb dog. All right. Again, does it not look like one breast is big? Look at my left breast is like twice as big as my right breast. I'm just saying. Sarah has, Sarah has one breast much smaller than the other. I'm just saying, look at that, guys. Uh, you guys notice that? Call me a perv all you want. I wonder if this lady over here has one breast half the size. Wait a minute. Are you me? Are you me? Because red hair. Yeah, she looks the same. She looks like she's got... I don't know. I guess I'm too focused on breasts, but just saying. All right. What's going on, guys? How you doing? Can't talk to either one of them. I'm just saying, guys. Just observations. I'm... Just noticing things. Okay. Honestly, I'm just trying to 
make you guys laugh, I guess, because this is horrible. I can't run. Shift does not work. Control doesn't work. C doesn't work. So I'm forced to walk. What's up, buddy? More text-to-speech uh, automatic robot talk? Damn machine. It's not working. Yep. You wouldn't have a couple of cents, would you? Right. I'm sure it won't let me give him any money. Like, why is every game so far that I've played, like, this is like the fifth game I've played centered on somebody named Sarah, and every Sarah game is freaking garbage. Like, if you're an indie developer out there and you're going to make a game, I challenge you guys to make a decent or a good indie game about Sarah, because all these games are making Sarah look bad. I'm just saying. All right. So now we got, whoa, <laughs> whoa, I just stuck my hand right through that, right through that uh, machine there. God. Unreal graphics are usually really shiny. I can't go in the elevator. Come on, dog. Let's go. Sammy, I think was his name. Sammy and Sarah. All right. Come on, Sammy. Let's go. And we've seen these same two assets in the uh, cafe, but we can't talk to them this time. Right. Oh man, this is terrible. And now we got to fly through again. I can't control Once anything. Once they entered the subway and got on the train, they were home in 20 minutes. Right. So now we're loading into the home. I hope this game gets Distracted better. from writing the article, Sarah has observed Sammy, who was sitting next to her for 10 minutes, and saying that he was hungry. Well, okay. Okay, so Sammy's hungry. Again, fly through. I can't even move. Oh, here we go. Now I can move. Yep. Her left breast is definitely bigger than her right breast, I'm just saying. So are we sitting home in our bra and underwear? I don't know what it looks like. All right. Can't go in there. Can we go in the bathroom? We cannot. The dog is dead. Is that foreshadowing? I don't know. Got our window. Okay, we're up on the, like the third floor or whatever. And this motion here. Um, What are we looking for here? Did I get dog food? Is that dog food? Yep, fly through. Automatic fly through again. Right, we just poured stuff out of what looked like a wine bottle into a... After feeding her devoted friend, it's time to get back to the laptop and continue the work. And so the fly-through again, it won't even let me control myself and move around the apartment. It just flies me right back to the, uh, to the office here. Alright, what now? Now it's loading again. This game's fucking terrible. Suddenly, Sarah's dream was interrupted by a loud knock. Strongly afraid, she tried to catch her breath and fall asleep again, and to completely calm down, she petted Sammy, and he licked her hand. Alright, so we had a knock. After a couple of hours, the window that seemed to be tightly closed, opened bursty and closed with a powerful blow. It scared Sarah so much that she almost cried out of fear, but Sammy licked her hand again, letting her know that he was near, and that everything was alright. Through an already shallow dream, Sarah heard the sound of falling drops. She was wary and thought she hadn't closed the tap, but she was very tired and scared enough to go and check, so she fell asleep again. Thirty minutes later Sarah woke up again because of the sound of the drops, and thought she couldn't work if she didn't sleep, and oh found God. the strength to get up and close the this faucet. This robotic when fucking she talking. Out of bed, she felt the familiar touch of the tongue. Taking the phone, Sarah went to look for the noise source. That drives me absolutely crazy. So I got a fly through. I can't even control myself. We got a robotic voice that is annoying as fuck. Like, if there's any immersion in this game, the fly throughs, the automatic fly throughs, and the robotic text is enough to make me go mad. Like, I'm glad this game is not very long. So it's completely dark. I can't. Oh, now I just got light. So it's completely dark. Now we're getting some light. Where's the light coming from? I can't move my mouse around, so I can't look around. 
All I can do is move W and S, A and D, but I can't move my mouse around to look around. This game is absolute fucking garbage. Like, I don't even care what happens here. This game already has me pissed off. Another fucking garbage game about Sarah. Why? Okay, so it looks like mud on the dog. That doesn't look like blood. Oh my god. Are you fucking real? You have very tasty fingers. Even the fucking evil guy there is a robotic <laughs> voice. And that's supposed to scare me? What the fuck is this trash? Why? Why does every game that I've played that has somebody named Sarah in it complete fucking trash? Like, every game about Sarah is garbage. Why? What is it about Sarah that's, that developers think, oh, I'm going to make a fucking trash game about somebody named Sarah? I don't understand. Again, if you're an indie developer out there, please make a fucking good indie game about Sarah. Like, this is nonsense. Like... This game is utter freaking crap. You can't move freely around except in the cafe to talk to people, to listen to people with robotic freaking voices. Um, and then it has a bunch of fly throughs, gives you no control over the game. The scariest part of this whole interactive walking simulator, it does a fly through. So it takes away any immersion. You can't look around. Um, the game is absolute freaking hot shit. Why this is on Steam, why this developer would make this game and try to sell it for $2 is beyond me. The game lasts like two or three, not two or three minutes, but like 0.2 or 0.3 hours. So like maybe 10, 15 minutes at the most. There's no actual gameplay. There's not even any control to move around the world except at the very cafe there at the start. And then the game keeps taking the control away from you and doing these fly throughs. And it doesn't, the, the worst part is, the, the point of the game that's supposed to be utterly scary, seeing our dog dead, which it didn't even look like it was dead, it just looked like it was a steel asset with fucking mud stains on it, not blood, um, is ridiculous. One little jump scare that says tasty fingers, and you have yet another robotic voice saying, oh, you have very tasty fingers. But it wasn't even, again, a actor, it was just another robot. Like... Take some pride in your work to the developer. Like, this game coming in wants 7 gigabytes to install this piece of shit. $2 to play this piece of shit. This game is a waste of my time. This game is infuriating. Like, I right there I hit quit. Quit the game. Did I not hit yes? There we go. So, Jesus Christ, man. Maybe I hit no. I don't know. But this game is utter fucking trash. Mr. Vladislav Borivik, congratulations, you've made yet another pile of fucking unreal asset shit to put onto Steam. I hope you make your fucking million dollars, you fucking toxic piece of shit. Like, make a real game. Quit trying to make a game with these 3D immersive graphics and buying fucking assets off the Unreal Store and putting together an utter piece of shit. Why don't you make fucking tic-tac-toe? Make a simple 2D game. Make a new Pac-Man game. Make anything 2D that you can actually fucking play that has some element of gameplay to it instead of piling together a bunch of fucking assets off the Unreal Engine into and using a fucking uh, text-to-speech uh, voice system to do your acting for you. Like, this has z almost zero effort, but more than that, it has zero inspiration, zero fucking heart, Zero creativity. This game, this walking simulator for your first title on Steam, you should be embarrassed. This makes my third miss video today. And this one has pissed me off more than the other two. This pisses me off even more than a Game Guru demo, which was exported off Game Guru and uploaded as its own game. Why does this game piss me off? I don't know. But it's just fucking garbage. It's like... It's almost like this guy teases you as, hey, this is going to be a unique walking simulator experience. This is going to be, a, you know, an adventure, whatever. You would expect somebody to be able to put a 12-minute fucking game, a 12-minute story together that doesn't play like an utter piece of shit. That doesn't just a flaunting unreal assets that you've mashed together. Fucking garbage, man. 
I want to see something better to you, Mr. Vladislav Borovic. Maybe tri quit relying on goddamn assets for your next game. Maybe make a game that has some element of actual gameplay to it. And maybe fucking use a little bit of creativity. And no more fucking robotic voices or text-to-speech. Uh, quit using Alexa to do your fucking voice acting for you. For fuck's sake. Miss number 103, Ember Zone. I'll give it a .5 out of 10 or a 5% out of 100. Definitely low enough score to make Miss number 103. And to the developer, you should be ashamed of yourself for asking any amount of money for this hot garbage. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. This has been Zaxter99 with yet another Miss video. Can we find a fucking decent game out here? Fuck's sake. Take care, everybody.